I love the control and the flexibility with coloring in Procreate. Therefore, I go back and forth, especially when things are done much quicker and better in Procreate, like coloring. So yeah. I have actually have this example where I brought in this Morfolio Trace drawing as a background. So you can see here, everything is done, was imported from Morfolio Trace as a JPEG file. And I brought it into Procreate to really do the nicer coloring for, you can see the countertop. And then also I, I have two other layers where it's less important, but the main thing is I did the coloring uh, in Procreate because I had access to my sort of the nicer Copic watercolor look. Right. The best thing is you can tweak colors in Procreate or in Portfolio Trace, you can't. So if you wanted to make this cabinet a different color, you can do that very easily. So that's the best benefit I would say. Then to bring this back into Morfolio Trace, what you can do is you can just export this as a JPEG. When you exchange format from Morfolio Trace to Procreate, it, it loses its data to the PDF. So when you bring this in, it's, it's scaleless. So what you have to do is when you bring it back into Morfolio Trace, and if you wanted to export it, print it out to a scale, what you need to do is to recalibrate based on the scale on here to in Morfolio Trace so that you can still print it out to scale. In this example, I only brought in the Morfolio Trace as one layer. So everything right. here is already merged into a single layer, right. which is good, which is fine. For this particular example, if I had another sort of option, let's say this this option you can see is a different bookend to the counter. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna turn off this, I'm gonna turn off this base layer and coloring. So what I did here is I only brought in the part of the drawing that showcased the bookend. So I only brought in this because this this drawing was drawn on a separate layer in Morfolio Trace. So when I brought in this, I can individually right. color it and this can be a standalone option with the rest of the drawing. The same thing with the kitchen island. So this wasn't a different option, but this was simply a layer to show that the interior elevation with the kitchen island on. Now, when you're when you're putting these layers on, you know, it looks like the drawing that you brought in from Morfolio Trace that's just like a white background and then and then you're just putting new layers of the color on top of that or or is this where you can you know what I'm getting at? Like where you're where there's, there's no background, it's just lines mm -hmm. on this drawing here right. and then you can then you can put, or you're just using paper opacity versus yeah. drawing um, opacity. The the trick to that is for, uh, if you're a little bit more like advanced, the trick to that is make sure you have your blending mode um, set to multiply. Mm -hmm. That's the important part is because okay. when you bring in the Morfolio Trace drawing without being having that multiply, it's on an opaque mm -hmm. layer. If I turn on my color, the color isn't going to show up. The right. color is only going to show up if my blending mode is on anything other than normal. So typically multiply is the is the mode where it allows right. the, the pixel to come through and anything that's white will, will be invisible.